So we're following the progress of the Dublin Simon community's Run at Home. It's a virtual running challenge to raise vital funds for homelessness. It is spearheaded by Leinster rugby players, brothers and competitors, Harry and Ross Byrne, who are taking teams on a virtual run from the 2nd to the 16th of August from Dublin to Rome, covering the host cities of the Six Nations Championship. On registration, participants will automatically be assigned to Team Ross or Team Harry, with Ross and Harry acting as team captains. Each team will work towards the collective goals of running the Triple Crown, which is just over 1,000 kilometres, and the Grand Slam, which is just over 2,500 kilometres, with the team that has clocked up the most kilometres by August the 16th winning the race. Runners and walkers of all ages and abilities are invited to take part. You can register now to clock your miles for Dublin Simon's Run at Home with Team Harry and Team Ross. And if you don't have time to run, you can buy some kilometres for your favourite team in the Dublin Simon Run at Home. Visit dubsimon.ie forward slash run at home for more. And it is all supported by Deutsche Bank as well. So lads, Ross, we'll throw this to you first. Which team do people want to be on when they sign up for this? Oh, Team Ross, definitely. <laughs> give, give us a big play here. Why, why should I be happy to, to see Team Ross rather than Team Harry when I sign up? Uh, ah, it's just a competitive edge, you know, I think. Um, ah, no, I don't think, I don't think it matters. I think either team will be good. Uh, I think it's, it's a great idea from uh, the Dublin Simon community. Obviously, with the, the home run being suspended um, indefinitely, is obviously massively disappointing for them. Um, that's been going for nearly 40 years now, but the, the run at home is a great idea, and hopefully we can get loads of people involved. Why did you get involved in the campaign? Uh, so this is actually my fourth year with Dublin Time Community, and obviously I've um, been promoting the home run the last couple of years, but obviously with COVID and the Dublin Marathon's been cancelled in October, so it looks like the the home run's suspended indefinitely, which is obviously massively disappointing because um, it's such a big fundraiser for the Dublin Simon community. It makes a huge difference to them. Um, there's nearly 3,000 people attended it uh, at the last home run, so hopefully we can get close enough to that number um, of people attending the virtual run anyway. Um, and It's over two weeks, and it is a great idea, I suppose, for friends and family to get involved, get active. Hopefully the sun is still here when, uh, when during those two weeks in August, uh, so it, it's a great idea. It's one of these things that without these events, some great causes just do not have their avenues towards fundraising. And yet, during COVID, these causes are more important than ever. The Simon community are, are in greater need for funds than ever. Yes, absolutely. Um, I think at the moment, the numbers are, are actually skyrocketing a little bit because of COVID. Um, and obviously, the knock-on effects that COVID has had in our economy, um, housing and all basically the funding for the Dublin Simon community. Um, so events like these are so important as the home run traditionally would always be one of their biggest fundraisers and it makes such a big difference to them. So hopefully with this virtual run, um, we can help raise um, some funds which will go a long way. Harry, when, when did you realise that I guess doing this sort of work is really important? I mean, it's not uh, necessarily something that uh, you have to do, but it's great to see people using their profile to, to, to do something positive. When, when did you become aware of, I guess, your, your responsibility and your role in all of that? Yeah, 100%. Well, obviously, Ross has been doing it, as he said, for four years now. It's his fourth year. So I just thought it was a great opportunity uh, to come on board with him, particularly, and we can put something together, the pair of us probably a bit stronger than just one of us so I thought the Simon community was uh, a great idea to get involved in especially with this campaign. For sure so what, what is what is the current state of play then are you, are you guys strictly teammates and you've left the brotherhood behind or, or, or what is the state of play at the moment Harry? I don't know no we're pretty good we're still all right uh, we'll see as the competition goes <laughs> who gets more serious about it. Who would be the most likely to take something way too seriously Harry? Uh, Ross, definitely Ross. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> He's the overly competitive one in the family. This is a learning process, though, isn't it? I mean, like Big Brother has to teach you a thing or two about certain things, and teaching you a thing or two about competitiveness surely can't go astray. No, 100%. Now, Ross has always been brilliant for me. Everyone kind of talks about this rivalry between the two of us, but it's, it's anything but that, to be honest. Um, it's fun for everyone to say it, obviously, but no, he's uh, been a massive help for me the whole way up. What do your parents think when the word rivalry is thrown around? I presume they're like absolutely delighted that uh, this two of you are doing so well. That's they why are, I'm yeah. a favourite, so it, it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, no, I suppose it's, it's, yeah, it's obviously it's a, a weird situation, I suppose, for them. But I mean, it's, we've always been competitive and 
they're probably used to it. we're probably fighting in the garden when we're younger anyway over anything kicking a football around so I suppose it, it's nothing new um, and I suppose it's it's probably even I suppose it's funny because everything always gets talked about I suppose the rivalry but nothing really gets talked about when we got to play together we got to play together twice last season which was pretty special like, um, so I suppose moments like that are obviously brilliant for our parents and for them they absolutely loved it I'd say they're probably that was probably two of the best days they probably had watching um, particularly with the game in the ODS they got to go to it as well which was brilliant um, so I suppose there obviously is that competitive nature but I suppose that's it's like that throughout Leinster really um, so it's nothing really different I mean everyone wants to be to be playing but I think everyone understands as well the, the squad depth we have uh, in the club that the, the squad is going to be rotating and certain players might suit certain games better that's class, that ability to be able to give your parents that moment. Like, it, it, do you get that back from them as well, Ross? Or, or is there a very sort of Irish thing here where you don't necessarily go out of your way to say, I'm very proud of you, but you can kind of feel it anyway? No, I think it's like, yeah, for them it was. It was absolutely brilliant. And I mean, they've probably gone to every one of our games over the years from no matter where it is, if it's Dublin abroad or up and down the country and it could have been rugby Gaelic or whatever. So... For them, it, it is absolutely amazing. I think they, they've loved the journey and hopefully they can actually get back into the grounds and watching the games live because it's, it's been tough for them having to watch everything on TV like everyone else. Did you get to call up at underage levels, Harry, to, to play with Ross or is it only ever at senior level that you started to play together? No, no, yeah, so sure. There's four years between us, so we never kind of crossed even on senior cup teams in school or anything like that. Um, but yeah, no, it was very special. When we a wet, windy day in Dragons that we played in the, on a... <laughs> not so great pitches our first day together. Um, uh, Ross sent her me at ten, and but then to come on and play in that Dragons game, the last game of the season with people there was really, really special. Yeah, it was the first time ever we've actually been on the same team, and uh, it was brilliant in any sport, really. Take us through all the other things then that uh, the, the sibling uh, friendship, the brotherhood would have would have existed via. So, so forget rugby for a moment, Harry. What what else was there when you were kids growing up? Oh, everything like it. <laughs> anything would have we played it played pretty much every sport there is so like always whether it's just kicking a football in the garden played a bit of Gaelic if people could but the competitive side would always between us would have come out in golf probably <laughs> or table tennis or any of those kind of sports um, where you kind of go head to head but yeah The golf scene in Leinster rugby I dare say is particularly competitive <laughs> Yeah it is <laughs> very much so yeah does anyone, not, does anyone not play in Leinster actually out of interest? There's a few, uh, yeah. yeah. There is a few, but the numbers have uh, skyrocketed in the last couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And are, are, you, are you all golf nuts? Like, would, would the WhatsApp group for Leinster be chatting about the Open at the week or, and stuff like that? Or is it, is it just mostly your own little hobby on the side? Some would be a bit more extreme than others, I suppose. Some would be very into it and some would just be uh, the casual golfers getting the, I suppose, watching the Open or different events would, I suppose, give people a bit of the age to go out. Are we talking like Michael Jordan level of competitiveness on the golf course when, when you're out there? Not for Ross, <laughs> yeah, not for me. <laughs> I'm for the national golfer. Um, so, what, like, when it comes to the, the rest of your summer, like, what is what is the current state of play? What is uh, like, I mean, what, what else is there? I mean, this obviously is going to take up a, a bit of your time trying to get people to follow Team Harry or Team Ross over the next little while. So, so what else is coming up, Ross? Yeah, so obviously there's two weeks now for people to register, um, which obviously gives them a good bit of time. And then obviously the event itself is, is run across two weeks from the 2nd until the 16th of August. Um, and then I suppose me and Harry will do our best to try and get people signed up. I'm actually back in, in training uh, in the next couple of days and Harry's got a bit more time off because um, obviously he was away a bit longer with Ireland. So I'll be straight back into to pre-season. So looking forward to get back into that. Has rugby ever been played in these sort of conditions, I wonder? Like, I mean, I, I, as you say, it's like you think of like a wet uh, Friday night at Dragons rather than this unbelievable summer we're getting here in Ireland. Like, this could be the best preseason of all time, Ross. Yeah, probably start raining once we go back training, though, or something. It's always <laughs> the way. But, yeah, it'd be interesting to see. I'd say the sessions could be a bit tougher in these conditions, that's for sure. Are you watching any of the lines? The oxygen time, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. No, go, go for that, Harry. No, no, I was just saying getting the option tags out <laughs> in the heat. Um, have you been watching much of the Lions, Ross? Yeah, I've, uh, I've watched. I, I didn't watch much the start now. I watched the, the South African A game, um, well, if you can call it an A game, last week and then watched a bit of the, um, 
the Stormers uh, on the weekend as well. So, and I'll be watching the tests this Saturday. So it'll be very interesting to see how it goes after watching the, the A game last week. Yeah, for sure. It should be an absolute cracker. What about yourself? How are you? Are you paying much attention to it? I, I actually haven't been, to be honest. I'm just because, obviously, just when I was in with Ireland, kind of was just focused on that. And then away from it, kind of just took a little bit of a break from rugby. But um, no, I'd obviously be up to date. Watch the South Africa A game, yeah. And be massively tuned into the game on Saturday. It'd be very interesting to see how it goes. What about then the, the last season for you lads and I guess the, the hopes for next season? Uh, how, would you, how would you sum up where things are going at the moment, Ross, for you? Yeah, I mean, in some ways it's a strange one because you're saying it's a disappointing season because um, we did still manage to win um, another league, which is, is massive. Um, but obviously not winning the European Cup was uh, a major disappointment. Um, and it's, it's, I suppose it's no secret um, how much the European Cup means to Leinster. Um, so it's definitely something where... I suppose we target it every year, but I mean, it's yeah, it's something we'll be really, really, I suppose, putting a focus on next season and trying to learn the lessons um, from last season of where we went wrong. And when is uh, a pre-season for you then, Harry? Uh, back in on, the, I think, the 16th of August it is, so I'll have another three or four weeks off. Uh, and what are, what are the hopes for next season? Similar, just to echo Ross, I think it's to not uh, win in Europe is massively disappointing and it's a always the goal for Leinster is to get kind of five stars. So I think that's pretty much the aim for everyone going back in there is to try collectively achieve that goal. Good stuff. Well, the very best of luck with the season ahead and the very best of luck to you both. It is going to be Team Ross versus Team Harry. We're going to be keeping up the speed on this as it develops. The two lads have made a very convincing pitch uh, why you should join Team Ross, to be quite honest with you. I think, like, I mean, let's face it, Team Ross, <laughs> you've got the upper hand after this chat here. Uh, we are following the progress of the Dublin Simon Community's Run at Home. It is a virtual running challenge to raise vital funds for homelessness. It is spearheaded by Leinster rugby players, brothers and competitors, Harry and Ross Byrne. We are taking teams on a virtual run from the 2nd to the 16th of August from Dublin to Rome, covering the whole cities of the Six Nations Championships. On registration, participants will automatically be assigned to Team Ross or Team Harry, with Ross and Harry acting as team captains. And each team will work towards the collective goals of running the Triple Crown and the Grand Slam with a team that has clocked up the most kilometres by August the 16th, winning the race. Runners and walkers of all ages and abilities are invited to take part. And you can register now to clock your miles for Dublin Simon's Run at Home with Team Harry and Team Ross. And if you don't have time to run, you can buy some kilometres for your favourite team in the Dublin Simon Run at Home. Visit dubsimon.ie forward slash run at home. And it's all supported by Deutsche Bank. Ross, Harry, thanks a million. Thanks very much.